Y'all, this step literally changed the freaking game for me. Like this boo, it sticks. What's up y'all, it's Jazz, you know the vibes, like, comment, subscribe. Today I'm in here with a install video for this curly 28 inches, you know, reddish brown wig. We're going into the fall, we're going with the vibes. It's cute, I love the color, I like the curl pattern as well. And if you're interested in seeing how I installed this wig and some more detailed, you know, tea on her, then just go ahead and keep watching. This be causing me to have to glue my wig so far forward because of the hairline and like trying to cover up the sides. That's kind of crazy to me because I should not have to glue my wig that far forward. First thing we're gonna do is cut off the ear tabs. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some sections. Red Bull sponsor me. Am I even in the center? I'm about to clean my hairline with alcohol. So guys, one thing I will really say is I didn't understand how important the glue is in this whole gluing your wig down situation. So y'all see how much it is, which is a substantial difference from the Kiss Glue that I was using before I started using this. Um, shout out to Ashley for putting me on because y'all the glue you use really matter. <laughs> y'all like, oh the glue, you know, any glue is gonna make the wig stick. Nah, some glue, like this glue, it sticks. I really wanna try the Erica J. But yeah, basically the quality of glue really, um, it helps. Like maybe if I was doing like five layers of the other glue, it would have been okay as far as like sticking, but that's kind of excessive. So for this glue, I've been using three layers, but I went up to three layers on the other glue too, and it worked better, but not like this. Like after a week of wearing this wig, I need glue remover. After we go in the other wig, it's like, go to the gym, pull it off. And it's coming right off. I don't know y'all. It seems like the glue is very much light. And it could be because of the amount that I put on. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my little third layer and start because like I waited or tried to wait for it to like dry down more from like this point before and it doesn't. So I'm just gonna glue this down or put an elastic band on this for it to, you know, really take. This side looks like we may have a fumble situation. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like A, not really over the correct part or like all the hair that needs to be over. And B, it's looking a bit white. I'm gonna use this to do some heat while we're pressing. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna just do what I do. Once we come back, we'll cut the lace, make sure that it's all the way on. We're gonna melt it and do the baby hairs. And that's gonna be, that's just gonna be what it is. Let's see what she is talking about. Okay, so this is what we're looking like right now. I have a lot of extra lace over here, so it's gonna be hard to cover up, but I'm just gonna get those little edges that I didn't get with the glue, because I find that that makes it look the most seamless. Then we're gonna go over it with the setting or the spritz and pull out our baby hairs. This side got me dead, I can't lie. Y'all, this step literally changed the freaking game for me. So I'm gonna be using the lighter side on the left and I'm going to be um, going over my lace with this cream foundation. This is the step that if you skip, you're gonna be able to see that lace girl. Well, I ain't gonna say all that, but for me personally, until I started using this, this is when my installs went to the next level personally. Like look at that. You can see it because it's lifting a little bit right here at the end. But if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't be able to. I'm about to fix that with a little bit of glue. So that way the spritz don't gotta work that hard. If I'm gonna do a side part, do I have enough parting space to do a side part? If I don't start getting ready for something, like the second I wake up, the day I have an event, I'm going to be late. And I just think that's pretty ridiculous. I'm going in with this spritz. I'm just gonna use the edge of my brush. I'm gonna spray some on here. And then I'm just gonna hit like the edges of the lace spray behind the actual baby hair. I just burned myself in the face. Oh, I just burned myself right on my face. I hope it don't leave my scar. I'm going to be using the lot of body leave-in conditioner and also the mousse. I'm going to cut this open. Like they're doing too much with the security on this hair stuff these days. I know my hands got all this stuff going. I'm gonna cut these baby hairs at an angle. I'm gonna be using the same spray to go ahead and Fleek my baby ears. Didn't forget to comb them out before I put the stuff on them, so.
this is pretty much what it's looking like. Um, I'm gonna have to redo this and add concealer to my part, but I'm just gonna go ahead and meet my family and then I'll come back home, get my face together, and we'll do the outro. See y'all. Okay, y'all, I am back. This is what the wig ended up turning out to be. Like, yeah, you can see the lace right there. It's because it's way too much lace than necessary. But really, I want y'all to get into the baby hairs. Now, the reason that you can see the lace right there, I didn't bleach the knots. I mean, it looks like maybe bleaching the knots would have been beneficial, but again, it really don't be lifting. So, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but the baby hair is like, uh, the fluffiness is just great. This is the final look. I hope that you guys liked it. This wig seems pretty nice. Now, I won't say that I think it's 28 inches because this was like a cool 26 to me. But you know, it's curly hair. So, pretty much expected that. But I do like the curl pattern. I think they're pretty and it defined well. The parting space is very much okay look at this video if you vibing okay you know i can make more videos like this if y'all like them subscribe <laughs> comment down below if you would buy this wig and if you have any like wigs that are similar to this that are better or just any wig that's a good price because this was i would say it's an okay price i was just in a time crunch and it was like i wanted this exact like style of wig so i just bought it because it seemed like the the best thing for the book but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video